Hello, I'm Lilia Mokhtari, Head of Multinational Client Relationships in MetLife Gulf, based in Dubai. I came to the Maxis Forum because I felt like I needed to see my bigger family in the global benefits there. I'm very happy to be here because it allows me to see everyone, recreate and reconnect with the relationship we have built up in MetLife Gulf all over the years. Uh, we're a very um, Maxis is our number one partner in terms of collaboration and I'm very excited to just make sure I am reconnected again with everyone and secure our existing port of business and of course make sure we continue our business strategy and development together. So face-to-face -face relationships, reconnecting and making sure we continue to work really well together. Perfect. Um, so you've been here for a couple of days now, what was your favourite session or what have you enjoyed most about being back together and being together in person? So I spent two days so far, I really enjoyed the second day because it was very informative, especially with the global consultants who can speak about the trends, who can help us see different perspectives that we potentially in local market might have missed. Um, so I really enjoyed it. And of course, I loved our session as panelists, as members. I think it has been uh, also quite informative for the others, and I hope we, we helped out somehow understand the purpose of Maxis and how it benefits everybody. My number one advice for a new member, or just a member in general, is to make sure they understand in and out Maxis products, why they do it, each multinational strategy and make sure they have their own local strategy, their own adapted local perspective and have one vision with Max's team. It's an inc incredible tool for growth and for retention. Um, us as MetLife Golf, we have a very big portfolio and we have also very big targets and we understand the power of Maxis and we use it quite well. The most important uh, thing in my perspective in the EB world is definitely all the topics related to voluntary benefit. Uh, we think, especially in our region, this is going to boom. Uh, budgets are tight, inflations are high, so employers will have to find ways to uh, control the budget. And people are different now, especially after the pandemic. The human aspect the singularity of each person is different and people want to have benefits adapted to themselves. So I believe the future and flexibility um, is in the flexibility and we should be prepared for that. What I believe is important for the future of employee benefits are two things. The first one is the flexibility and the voluntary benefit. Um, I think this is going to really be important in the future. Budgets are tight, employees are more aware of the individual needs of the employees. So I think that one will continue. We will see how it will grow and we will witness probably more and more requests to create flexible benefit environment. The second item that I think is going to really continue to grow is all the benefits regarding about women's health. So anything regarding fertility, egg freezing, we're being very much supported by our global customers and global captive. And this um, will help us define the new benefit that will be the standard. So this will continue. So to, as I said,